uh, Lincoln Riley's new pad. Have you seen this thing? Yeah, I saw the pictures. Holy macalamus. All right, let me, uh, let me give you the rundown on it. Front office sports said uh, Lincoln Riley dropped $17.2 million on his new oceanfront estate in Los Angeles. It is 13,000 square feet, got seven bedrooms and 12 baths. Now, it, I, explain this to me. Why in the hell would you need 12 baths? Like, uh, I guess people coming over your house party. Yeah, I guess it have to. That have to be it. Like a bunch of partying. Uh, they got a five car garage, an elevator, seven fireplaces, a movie theater, a tennis court, a putting green, a sauna, and a steam room. A six hundred bottle wine room, and they got a guest house. And the pictures of this thing are ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, he owned two homes in Oklahoma, in, in Norman. And one is still up for sale. It's $1.9 million. And this one that he just bought in, uh, what is it? Uh, Estates? No, hold on. Let's see. Palos Verdes Estates, California. It's $17.2 million. So, and, and I will tell you, it does look a lot nicer than the one that he's got in Norman, Oklahoma. I will, I will say that. He's actually got neighbors in Norman, Oklahoma. Like you, I don't know that you can have neighbors when you own in a state like this in Los Angeles, man. Uh, sure he does. Sure he does. <laughs> I mean, but they're so far away. Are they really considered? No, neighbors? they're really not. They're really not. It's just the way the picture's taken. Oh, they're really Lord. not. You don't have a lot of land. This thing's not on. This thing's not sitting on nine acres of land, Gary. Uh, that's true. That is true. All right, and it's not ocean front, by the way. It's got an ocean view. It's way the hell up on a hill. Like he's miles away from the ocean. Yeah, okay, I see. His, his backyard doesn't go up to the ocean. That's bullshit. And $17.5 million is not a lot of money for a house in L.A. Like, this is a beautiful house, but this house is nowhere close to the ocean. Not, not no, Nowhere close to it for 17.5. The houses in Malibu for 13,000 square feet are going to be like $70 million, okay? Yeah, if not more. All right. Yeah, Mal- Malibu is ridiculous. I was, I listen, yeah, so... So this guy, this guy is a, it's a, it's a nice house. It's a beautiful house. It's a gorgeous house. It's a big house. It, it, it's, it's, it is, it is a, an impressive thing to you and I. Okay. That's, that's all it is. Because in that world, this is a little dick move. <laughs> You're probably right. I'm, uh, let's see. I'm, Adam I'm looking Carolla up. Adam Carolla does a podcast. Okay. Adam Carolla is a podcast guy. Adam Carolla's house is the equivalent to this. True. Uh, and he has a second house in Malibu on the beach. So, so, let, so like, and he's just a podcast dude. This is supposed to be some big shot Hollywood famous, you know, you know, you know, God of football. Okay. All right. I am, uh, I'm looking at this. And so he's got a, he's got a roll through to get all the way over to I-10 in order to get over to USC. And it is a 25-mile drive. It is a 43-minute to 1-hour and 15-minute drive. I'm going to bet he's never making that drive in less than an hour. How, how do you figure he gets there? Like, how, how can he beat the traffic to be able to? But he can't. He can't beat traffic. Because L.A. traffic is always traffic. That's, a, that's exactly what I'm thinking. I'm like, there's, I mean, the I-10 no, is gonna, always. It, which is fine. Like, I drive over an hour everywhere I go, you know, for my job. That's fine. I don't make what he makes. It's okay. That's all right. But, like, it's just, you know, I, I don't, anyway. That this, is, is, this is the house that was for sale. That's a really good price. It's like $1,300 a square foot. In L.A., that's an amazing price, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I you, mean, there are 700 wrong. square foot shitholes that are being sold for a million dollars. Okay. Yes. $1,300 a square foot is pretty damn good. It is not bad. Uh, Rolling that, Hills Estates cheap. is right next door. Uh, it's that's, just south. That's also, that's also how I knew this thing wasn't close to the fucking ocean. Not close. <laughs> like, it's close to the ocean compared to, like, I'm close to the ocean right now. All right? But it ain't close to the ocean to anybody that lives in L.A. It's, uh, I mean, it's, like, it's close, but it's, it's not, it no, ain't it's a not. beach. It's not a beach. Like, it's nothing like that. It's, you're out looking over it. Uh, but it is, 
It is just south of. Well, yeah, when you're on a mountain, when you're on a hill, you can see really far. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's... So he could see the ocean. 30 minutes south of Redondo Beach and uh, Hermosa Beach, and then Manhattan Beach is just a little north of that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bet he's not 30 minutes to any of those places because I know what L.A. traffic is. Uh, well, I mean, you hop on Highway 1, it's not uh, – eh, okay. may, maybe you're right. I, I don't I'm know. Just, <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm just telling you I know what L.A. traffic is. That is I mean, you're, you're not wrong, but it doesn't have to hit uh, – he doesn't have to hit interstates or anything like that, so I don't know if it's that crazy. But regardless, uh, the place looks exceptional. It's a nice, it's a nice place. It, it is definitely a nice place, and uh, and yeah, you know, I, I, maybe maybe an upgrade over over what you had in Norman, Oklahoma. I will say that. Um, it I, I don't know that this is uh, is why you move, which is what <laughs> which is what a lot of these. College football guys are talking about like, oh man, like look at this and da 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 da. It's like, well, I mean, you move because you're in LA and you're not in Norman, Oklahoma. That's yeah. why you move. It ain't for the house because he could have had a million times better house than this for a lot cheaper in Norman, Oklahoma. Oh, most certainly. They just don't build houses like that in Oklahoma. In Oklahoma. Yeah, but he could it... have had everything in this for a fraction of that cost. In oh yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. But it won't be looking out over uh, over any oceans. I will tell you that. So, but I, I don't necessarily know if you uh, if you have to have that view. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything or Chris at winningcureseverything Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.